Hey Fay Bakers, welcome to my channel, Glitz and Glue, this is Cristal. We are going to do a, help me pick a name, fake fake, I want to call it donut macaron, cotton candy donut, hamburger donut, I don't know what it looks like to you, <laughs> all I know is that it's magical, easy, and what we love most, fast. So before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you enjoy my tutorials. If you want to wait to the end, then we can wait for the end and hopefully you'll decide to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you receive an alert next time I release a tutorial. Let's begin. Tutorial, we're going to use our clay and a little bit of filler. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use my Glitz and Glue brand clay that we'll be releasing next month. It is our very first glitz and glue products so keep an eye out for it because it's coming soon in 36 different shades tones and colors for you let's go ahead and remove remove some of it from the bag and we're using a nice bright pink when you use your clays you need to make sure to condition your clays really well so you can prevent any cracking from appearing on your fake bakes and it takes just a few seconds depending on what clay you have. So I'm gonna cut this in half, hoping that it's the same size. And then we're gonna to start to shape it into a ball. And I always like to put it on top of my table or my surface, because it's harder and it's flat and it'll help remove any of the creases. And when you roll it in your hand, make sure you put a little bit of pressure and that will help remove any wrinkles. You guys can see them already coming off. And then do the same thing for this one. And roll it out until you get your ball nice and soft. Once you get both rolled out, we're gonna press down with the palm of our hands. And they both look pretty even to me. And if not, just pretend they're even. <laughs> and then with a marker, we're gonna push in through the center. And then I always bring it back down. I've always done my donuts for years this way. And then up here. And you can get a bigger marker or a bigger tube if you want your donut to have a bigger hole in the center. And then you repeat the same thing on this one. Exactly as I did there. And then let's roll this around one more time. And then let's press down on it one more time. Now, once we do this, we're going to flip this over this way, and this one is going to stay like that. Then Hobby Lobby has this filler right here. So we're going to use these two colors because our donut is already pink. And using our glue, we'll start off with half of it. We're going to start to put some of our filler inside the donut. Make sure you add enough of your glue. And then you can combine it with the green and the yellow and a little bit of both. Now this one, you can find it in the Easter section. And this is a product that I use year round. So if you follow my crafts and my fake bakes, you might want to stock, stock up on this because I do use it a lot. So you know what, now that I think about it, we didn't even have to do this hole, it's gonna be the bottom, unless we do it into a pick, then that'll be different. Okay, so then next we're gonna put some of our glue right here on this area, make sure you put a lot. I don't think I'm gonna turn this into a pick though. Let's flip this over and then just place it on top. Next item are going to be these dimensional paints from Hobby Lobby and we have the color Neon Sherbert, Mint, 
electric line rose and white let's bring our donut right over here and i'm going to begin with my brighter colors and it's okay for it to fall to the side it's not supposed to look needy needy tidy y'all know what i mean And make sure you do let this dry before you use it. And I got my pink, but I'm not going to use my pink. I don't know why I brought it. And then now I'm going to use my white. Let's remove this from here for a second. This looks like a hamburger. <laughs> Let's bring our sprinkles over here. And I'm using fake sprinkles from Etsy. Make sure you use fake sprinkles. Do not use real sprinkles for this. And then I'm gonna put it in all the area where I see my dimensional paint. Dimensional paint is a little bit different than puffy paint. Uh, puffy paint tends to be a little bit runnier, just FYI. Let me put my fingers in here, flip this over to remove any of the extra sprinkles, and then we can shake it off again in a second. And last but not least, diamond dust. Look at this, diamond dust. You can buy it off Amazon. I'll put any links that I can find for the products I'm using in the description of this YouTube video. Let's go ahead and add some of our sparkle on there. And let's think of a name. Let me know in the comments, what would you call this? Donut, hamburger, donut, macaron, donut, cotton candy. What is it? Did you decide a name for this? <laughs> I'm just gonna say magical unicorn fake fake. DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed it and give it a try. Don't forget that you can join our Facebook free community group. It's called Craft Along with Glitz and Glue. And we have over, I think, like 60,000 members over there. Go and share your crafts, your fake bakes, your DIY, whatever your talents are. Or if you want to share the tutorials I teach you, you are more than welcome to show them off over there. Um, let me know what else you want to see in the comments below. As you know, my style is extremely whimsical, but we can do other craft projects. If you want to do craft, DIY, something other than fake bake, I love, love, love to hear your feedback. Now, don't forget, always a reminder, click that subscribe button, and I would love, love, love for you to become part of our Glitz and Glue community family and turn on that bell notification so you can be alerted on my next tutorial. Have a fantastic weekend, you guys, and happy Easter. I don't know when you're going to be seeing this video, but if you're up to date, then happy Easter. God bless you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.